Good morning. Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or volunteer will be sharing an object from the permanent collection and posing questions for discussion. Please check back at 10 a.m. every day for a new work and a new conversation. My name is Anu Mitra, and I'm a docent at the Cincinnati Art Museum. Uh, my object today is the protest platter by Terence Hammonds. Hammonds is an internationally recognized artist who has his roots in the over the Rhine area of Cincinnati. Born in 1976, Hammonds experienced a youth that was framed by both structure and freedom. He was trained at the School for the Creative and Performing Arts and remembers daily four hour art lessons from grades four through 12 that had him develop his love of all things art. His mother had already encouraged this love in him by letting him loose in the Cincinnati Art Museum, where he had a monthly project on how to deconstruct art. Hammonds gravitated toward printmaking, ceramics, and painting in his undergraduate years at the Museum School of Fine Arts in Boston and at Tufts University. He remembers this time for its open experimentation of taking advantage of the full range of buffet options that was presented to him. Upon graduation, Hammonds moved back to Cincinnati, going to work first for the Clay Street Press and then for Rookwood Pottery. He developed his knowledge of surfaces and glazes and learned the process of printing and painting on them. Since 2018, Hammonds has worked primarily as an independent artist, often collaborating with others in order to develop his unique voice as a call to action. The main themes of Hammonds's work include the seamless integration of issues of race, class and culture with his obsession with subcultures and countercultures. This love of the underdog was not only born from careful readings of Dick Hebdige and Norman Mailer, but also from being a student of punk rock, reggae, soul, funk, and rap music. Hammonds is interested in how cultures create and keep divisions in place and how cultural heirlooms may be used to make bold statements about present day racial struggles for equality. Hammonds does this by borrowing imagery from civil rights history and combining them with decorative motifs and patterns that have in the past adorned Victorian homes. By doing so, Hammonds memorializes important current events while also abstracting the history of racial identity in America. He does not claim to have the answers, but by posing the questions pertinent to struggle, Hammonds offers hope for the future. Always his work provokes dialogue about history, race, activism, and change. The Cincinnati Art Museum is honored to have many works by Terence Hammonds, most memorably the Living Room Fireplace uh, from 2013, which is a mashup of a fireplace inspired by vintage Rookwood pottery, Indian and Islamic designs, but with the, but with the specific Over the Rhine in Cincinnati twist. In the protest platter of 2020, Hammonds used his artistic powers to make an everyday object become a reminder of the social upheavals in American society after the murder of George Floyd in May 2020. Using a humble platter, also a symbol of shared love and community, Hammonds conveys images of Blacks protesting and speaking out. Hammonds was also resisting the negative stereotypes used to describe Black people such as the ceramic cookie jar that became known as a mammy jar. Often in the shape of a large black woman clothed in a house dress and wearing a red bandana, the image perpetuates a derogatory stereotype that is racist and demeaning. Created as propaganda tools during the Jim Crow era, these objects reflect ugly stereotypes that continue to, continue to be collected by people today. Hammonds's protest platter is an everyday object that speaks out against racism and injustice. 
I wanted to make images that reinforce radical thought and positive change in the world, as well as celebrate people who are not necessarily seen as heroes, he said. Hammonds's protest bladder depicts four protesters standing on dark clouds. At center left, a man wears a sign that reads, sorry for the inconvenience, we are trying to change the world. At center right, another man wears a sign that reads, power to the people. They are framed by two women projecting their voices through megaphones. In designing his series of protest platters, Hammonds drew upon approximately 60 images of protest throughout history to create the printed transfers. I wanted to grab things from various movements, from environmental, civil rights, immigrant rights, women's rights, and gay liberation movements, he explained. I wanted the platters to remind us of the social struggles and the people who fought for change and who empower us to keep up that fight in our daily lives. From conception to completion, this work, this work embodies Hammonds's intention. An everyday object such as a platter becomes that catalyst for conversation, and that's where real change can happen, Hammonds said. Can you think of an object in your home that can be used as a centerpiece for challenging conversations on social justice? How can you arrive at a consensus with people who have differing viewpoints than yours. Thank you for allowing me into your life and I look forward to seeing you again.